Mary Duff, welcome back to Australia and welcome to Country Crossroads. Thank you very much. It's great to be here with you and to meet you at last. Australia. And it's I really right. wanted to come back to Australia. I, I could have said, no, I'm not going. It's not enough time. But I said, cram as much dates as you can in and we'll play as many places as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. So we end up doing 25 days in 29. Mm -hmm. So it's it's hard work and it's a lot of travelling yeah. because this country is so vast. So, so you've got some, some wonderful supporters all around the place. Well, we do. I've been coming out here. Oh, I've been out here, I'd say, from the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. Coming out, I started first with Daniel O'Donnell on his first on his second tour here. Not the first, and he just tried on his own to see how he'd get on, and then he he decided it was going really well, so he invited me for his second tour. But which, your career, I mean, you've been going now for quite some time. You must be pretty happy with where you're at these days with your singing and your, and your music. I am. I mean, it's a dream come true for me. Um, every new venue, that's something special. It's something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had one of those reel to reel tape recorders, real old ones. You're probably too young to remember them. Uh, Thank you. You didn't comment. <laughs> you too, Mary. Yes. <laughs> uh, so but, uh, I came along with them anyway and sang the two songs. And I, I just loved it. It was just great to get the chance to do that and to sing in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. Even though I was so, so nervous, I was shaking all over. I remember everything. I love those hands. don't like it it's a no-no area yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so I've been very lucky that I've been with him all those years and we've recorded two duet albums and we get along great on stage and like his audience like if even half his audience come to my shows I'm happy because he's built up a huge following of fans yeah. so yeah. I've got to know just about every one of them as well so it's it's great works great for me. Oh, let's see all those hands clap. Oh, the choreography Mary don't forget this is important Such a feeling's coming over me There is wonder in most everything I see Not a cloud in the sky Got the sun in my eye And I won't be surprised if it's a dream Everything I want the world to be I mean, in the early days for you working with Daniel, were you, were you intimidated? Well, in the early days, uh, to be honest, I saw Daniel with maybe just 30 people in the audience. Okay. Very, very small audiences, right. really tiny, because he was really only starting out as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we did shows, I remember, in, in the UK and England, and like up to present day where people bring their sleeping bags with them and they queue out for tickets. <laughs> and they do. And they bring their flasks with them and stay overnight queuing. So that's the way it's gone it now. Is. I mean, you have to first off think, what kind of an audience am I going to be performing mm -hmm. to? I sing songs, I suppose, really a variety of different styles, from country to Irish uh, to the spiritual, to basically easy listening. Done the Grand Old Opry. Hmm. I asked Daniel the same question last time, but that must be an absolute buzz and, and uh, a great thing to be able to say you've done in your career. For sure. Um, we've done a lot of different uh, great, great venues in our time, but that one, I suppose, really, you know, from a child, you kind of dream of playing in a place like that, but you don't actually think it's ever going to happen because it's all the, the usually the big, great American country stars who perform there, and certainly Irish artists, very few. I can't think of anyone, only Daniel and myself, who have done it. Yes. So they're a great bunch altogether, and really, really good musicians, I have to say, and good people, which is more important That's as well. Of course, very you know, important. Because we're travelling so intensely, yeah. and we're on the one bus all the time, so you have to have people that you can get on with. Sure. No point having someone that's brilliant if you can't talk to them. Yeah, <laughs> or, or. absolutely. Well, anyway, if you go to Kerry, you go out to Ballybunion, and just past the golf course there, you get a great view of the cliffs of Dooney, which is what this song is called. You may travel far, far from your own native home. How 
sensational is that? One of your supporters have brought that along, and if we can uh, uh, get a, a good look at the yeah, it's gorgeous. The she actually, her name is Desiree, and she's from Frankston, and she makes cakes. Huh? And she took this one in for me. It's very special, as you can see. He's got a photograph on a nice photograph as well. Lovely, and a uh, beautiful cake. So. The first cutting ever on Country All the viewers Crossroads. are going to be drooling, <laughs> so they are. They're going to want a bite of it, aren't they? Please, Mary, you do the honour. We'll do it together. All right. Which hand? All right, shall we go? You're a lefty. We'll be like okay. the bride and groom. I'm a lefty. That's awkward, That's isn't right. it? That's the awkward. I'll cut Here my head go. off. The count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> How about that? An exclusive for Country Crossroads. <laughs> Mary Duff, thank you very much. Thanks. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.